Hello, all right. Uh, let's discuss about this question. Okay, this question talk about the fourth term of a geometric sequence, right? Uh, they, they, they talk about geometric sequence. Immediately, you know that the formula for n term is r power of a r power n minus one. So the fourth term of a geometric sequence, the fourth term of a geometric sequence is forty eight. Uh, the fourth term refer to t four, and the sixth term is 12, right? Uh, so the question here is find the possible values of common ratio and the corresponding values of first term. So means that uh, they have a possible value of uh, first term, right? So for example, in this case, so you have uh, fourth term to 48 and the sixth term to be 12. So don't use the wrong formula because this is actually a geometric sequence. Uh, so T4, you know that the first term a r you don't know the first term you don't know the common ratio but you know the formula n minus 1 so 4 minus 1 equals to 48 right uh, so you have a r power of 3 equals to 48 because they are two unknown you don't know so you put it as equation 1 right uh, so now you need to second equation to help you to find the value of a and r so for this, you have a r power of 6 minus 1 equals to 12, which you will get a r power of 5 equals to 12, right? So this is equation 2. Ah, this is very different from uh, arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence, we will try to find the value of a and d, right? This is find the value of a and r. So you try to look back the, uh, the video for arithmetic sequence. The technique is we use subtraction and addition, plus or minus. For this case, you see, I want to eliminate A, right? Eliminate A. So the only method here is I going to take equation two divided by equation one, means division. Uh, we use division in this case to solve the simultaneous equation, right? So I can take one divided by two or two divided by one. I prefer 2 divided by 1 because the power is higher, right? So I take a r power 5 divided by a r power 3, which gives me 12 over 48. Alright, so a and a cancel off. So r 5 minus 3, right? 5 minus 3 index divide. This one is 1 over 4. So you have r power of 2 equals to 1 over 4, right? Uh, 104. So then you will have r equals to square. The possible value of r is plus minus square root of 104, which gives you positive negative 1 over 2. Why? Do you know why? Because 1 over 2 power of 2 is 104. And negative 1 over 2, if you square, you're still getting positive 104. So it means there are two possible values, right? So if you have two possible values of r, of course there must be two possible values of first term right so the first one if r equals to 1 over 2 uh, or if r equals to negative 1 over 2 right uh, so you can substitute this value of r into either uh, equation 1 or 2 all right either one is okay so a 1 over 2 i substitute into 1 all right into equation 1 so power of 3 equals to 48 so the value of a will be 1 over 8 right this will be 1 over 8 equals to 48 and a equals to 8 multiply 48 8 multiply 48 you have 384 uh, okay 384 when r equals to 1 over 2 how about this so a negative 1 over 2 to the power of 3 equals to 48 right you put back into the equation 1 then of course you will get a power of negative 1 over 8 there's a negative power of 3 so you have 48 so negative 384 right just they have a negative this one is happen when r equals to negative 1 over 2 so Okay, the most important thing is you know the approach that you're going to use to solve this problem. First, this is the most important one. You use division. Uh, for, for geometric sequence, 
you must consider division, all right, as the method to solve problem if if involving simultaneous equation.